Hello YouTube, I'm back, and I wanted to do a video today on how to connect your Synology NAS to a PPTP VPN. Uh, the VPN I'll be using today is called Private Internet Access, and it's, a, it's an extremely popular VPN, um, and there's not a lot of resources online for how to get it connected to your Synology NAS. The topography of your home network, if you have multiple routers or multiple switches connected, um, that could cause issues. So just ensure that your, your Synology NAS is plugged directly into your home router and your router is port forwarding whatever port your VPN is requesting. With private internet access, I did not have to port forward any ports. Uh, so just bear that in mind. I won't be go over, going over any port forwarding. At any rate, let's get started here. I'm going to jump into control panel. And I'm going to go to network. Select network interface. And you can see right here I have my PIA connected. I'm going to go ahead and delete that so I can re-add it. Perfect. So here we go. I'm going to click create VPN profile and I'm going to be doing PPTP. Keep in mind PPTP is not as secure as OpenVPN, but this is going to be slightly easier for this tutorial. I will do an OpenVPN later on. I'm going to call this PIA. The server address that I will be using with private internet access is US Seattle dot uh, private internet access. Com. My username, I'm going to hop out of here, so I already have this open, but on Private Internet Access's website, I have a, a, like a user profile, but that is not the same as the username. I actually have to go in here, my username is totally different, so I'm going to go in here and go ahead and copy that, and paste it, and I'm going to copy this as well, and we'll paste that in there, and we'll hit next. I'm going to use the default gateway as a remote network. I'm actually going to allow all of these. Um, any other device that's connected to my network will be able to connect through the VPN of my NAS, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's automatically going to reconnect if the VPN connection is lost. So we'll do that. Connecting. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit connect. It says connecting. Once it is connected, and it should connect correctly here, uh, you want to hit service order. So there it is, it's connected. Hit service order and ensure that your VPN is set to first priority. You want it to be number one. Otherwise, it's still going to use your normal LAN port um, for all its data. Um, if I select this drop down menu, you should be receiving and sending out information. If you notice that you're not um, receiving, uh, there's likely some issue. You might be connected to the VPN, but you're probably um, not fully taking advantage of it. Another great way to ensure that your VPN is actually connected to whatever VPN service you're using is to check through terminal. So I'm on my Mac here, so I'm gonna telnet into the server. Um, if you've never had to telnet before, it's super easy. Um, open up terminal. If you're on a PC, you're gonna have to find some other way to do this. There's other apps. Um, but on a Mac, telnet, you can do your um, internal IP. So mine is on 10.0.0.14. NAS comes up. I'm going to do my um, admin and then my admin password. You can see I got in, and there is a very simple command. I have it copy and pasted here, but it's wget http um, blah blah ip info. Um, wget is basically just a, a way to access the internet, and it's got an ip info um, web page. So when you hit it, Give it a second and here is my global IP address on my NAS server. I know this is working because if I hop over to my web browser, I have a Google search of what is my IP and you can see my global IP for my Mac here that is not connected to any type of VPN 
is totally different. It's an IPv6 versus this one, which is an IPv4. Of course, I have these blurred out, um, but you guys get the picture. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to put this video out there, like I said, because there are no other ones there. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can be kept up to date on all my Synology NAS videos because I will be producing more. Comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Thanks.